Welcome back. One of the common patterns when working with files is to actually put them in a try accept block. So in here, we can say try and actually put them like this and try out to see if the file exists. So we can say accept and let's say file not found error, which we've seen before. And here I can say as error and inside we'll say print file does not exist. So that now if I run this and remember in our current directory, we don't have sad.txt. If I run this, I get an error, file does not exist. We can even raise this error if we wanted to. So we can say raise error. So now it works as expected. I'll get file does not exist and then give a file not found error. So this is a common way to work with files to handle different errors. Another common one with files is this idea of an IO error. And an IO error usually happens when the computer or the machine you're on has some issue reading or writing or doing any sort of IO operation. So you can have something like IO error in here and raise that error if you want. Again, if I run this, file not found error. If for some reason I give it a weird mode to do, I get an unsupported operation error. The options are endless, but I hope by now you have an idea of how to do file IO. But let's do a fun exercise because up until now, we haven't really done anything exciting. We just read a bunch of text from a file and that was it. Nothing that creative, right? So let's do something fun. In the next video, we're going to try and build a translator. That's right. I'll see you in the next video.